Hello, Liz here with Liz's Crafts, and um, just want to say hi to all my crafty friends and family and show you a little Easter craft that I'm going to be doing today. We're going to be using um, Magna, can't talk, Magnolia Design Co. Um, products today. We're going to use uh, this set of stencils here, which is called Encouraging Words, and I've used them several times, and it's a good little stencil to get and you get 12 little sayings here and uh, we've used them on lots and lots of projects so the two that we're going to be using today from this packet is actually I can and live a life filled with love so the first one I want to do is the actually I can and I have these bunny cutouts and I got the cutout from uh, the internet, off the internet. I just googled bunny templates and I got this cute little um, bunny. I put him on cardstock, printed it up, and then cut it out. And then I got out some old blue jean material from some old jeans and I cut um, my bunnies. And in case this is not completely symmetrical, what I did was I uh, placed my template down on the inside of my jeans, traced it with a pen, one this side, and flipped it over and did the other side. So they are complete opposites. Now I'm only going to stencil one side of my bunny, so I'm going to set this piece aside there. And actually I don't need this right yet. And we're just going to uh, stencil on his little tummy. So I want to put this towards the bottom of him so it fits on there. You can see that. And we're going to use our Brilliant White Chalk Paste. Now they also have an ink if you want to use the ink. I just kind of prefer the chalk paste on projects because it is cheaper than the ink. And I'm not going to be washing it or anything like that. so. I don't really care about that. So I'm just pushing the uh, chalk paste onto my stencil and through the screen portion which is the design with my squeegee. And this is a cut apart sque squeegee. It comes bigger than this but you can cut it into manageable pieces. Especially if you are um, doing smaller stencils. These are reusable, they are adhesive, and uh, they work great. Look at this, and if you think you can't do this, you are wrong, you can do this. Might I suggest, if you wanna try this out, go to Liz Yonke, and that's L-I-Z-Y-O-N-K-E-Y dot Magnolia, M-A-G-N-O-L-I-A, -A, design, D-E-S-I-G-N, Co, C -O dot com. And uh, once you get there, you can go to um, shop. Then on the left hand side, you'll see the different um, sections. And at the bottom of it, of this section is DIY kits. Now these are not available to creators. They're only available to customers. So I as a creator would not be able to purchase these kits, but you as a customer would be able to do so. I'm gonna uh, shut a door and turn some lights off. Because I think the camera catches it a little bit better with the light off. So, um, yeah, if you just want to try it out, I would, I would suggest a DIY kit. But anyway, so I put my stencil in water face down and I um, swirled it a little bit so that the water would get into the screen portion of it. So here we have it. It says, actually, I can. Now I'm going to set that aside because we have this egg here. Now this is um, a wooden egg shape that I had gotten off of another project that I picked up at Goodwill. So I've just been waiting around to uh, use it. So I Mod Podged um, my blue jean material on the front 
and the back. And then I um, <clears throat> super glue, super glue. I hot glued a stick onto the uh, egg shape before I mod podge the material on it. Now on the front here, I want to do my stenciling. So, but I need to dry this just a little bit because it is damp because I just mod podged it a little bit ago. And I don't want my chalk paste to smear. Okay, I'm hoping that's enough. You can, it would probably take forever for it to dry, but you can see there where it's a little bit darker. That's where the Mod Podge kind of seeped into the material. So um, I want to put this one on here, this stencil on it. It says, live a life filled with love. So I want to put that towards the center of my egg. It's a little bit crooked. I think like that. So I still have some chalk paste on my squeegee and I'm just going to put that right on my stencil and pushing it through onto my design. And then I'm going to get the excess off. Little spot right there. Put that back in my jar. Waste not, want not is what I say. And then we'll just peel this right off and we'll see how it looks. Oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that nice? So again, I'm just putting my stencil down in the water, pushing it down and uh, swirling it a little bit so that the chalk paste will not um, dry in my stencil. Now normally what you would do is you would take your stencil directly to the sink, uh, turn on your water and use a sponge and just sponge it off. And then you would dry it, put it back on the backing and then put it back in the package that it came in. Okay, so I want to make sure that um, the stenciling on my bunny is dry before we start working on him. So, you know, let me let me just dry him a little bit here first. You don't want to get plastic near uh, your heat gun because it'll melt. Okay, that feels pretty good. So I just have uh, some plastic here just to protect my surface. I'm going to put my two pieces of bunny together. So my blue jean material, the inside of it is on the inside. And then the outside, of course, is on the outside. So here's what we have. And then I'm just going to take my glue gun and I'm going to go around the edges. And I'm going to start up top where his ears are. So I'm just putting strips of glue um, around the edge of my bunny. And then I'm going to put the two pieces together and just press them a little bit. And then I'm going to continue on. So I'll get up around his, um, his face, his cheeks, and then we will stuff his ears. Because if you go all the way down to the bottom before you start stuffing, you're not going to be able to uh, do a really good job of getting that stuffing up in his ears where it needs to be. And you don't want to do too much glue at a time because if you do, your glue will start to dry before you get your bunny pieces together and then um, you'll just be wasting your glue. 
So just take your time and do a little bit at a time. So I'm stopping after I get around the side of his head. So I'm stopping right here. Right there. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Now I did do this bunny um, in another video where I used different material. This is just a way to use your um, your jean scraps if you uh, have some old jeans laying around the house that you can no longer wear or that are torn up or even that are too small or whatever. And uh, you can just make crafts with those so don't throw them out. You can use them. Okay, so we have all around his ears and all around his head. So we want to put some stuffing up in his ears. So I just have this uh, stuffing here that I got from a regular bed pillow. And uh, that's another thing. If you have old bed pillows, don't throw them out. Take them apart and then use the stuffing. And that way you don't have to waste your money buying stuffing because it gets kind of expensive so like I say just use your old pillows I have a ton of them so I probably won't be running out of um, stuffing anytime soon so see I have um, that up in the very top of his ear there so I need a little bit more in this ear and then we'll start on the other ear. And then I'm using a skewer and this is just one of those that comes from uh, the Dollar Tree. You get a whole packet of these skewers for a buck and uh, you can use them for crafting all the time. So if you don't have any of those from the Dollar Tree, you might want to pick some of these up because that is what is on this right here. That's one of those uh, skewers. Okay, so we got this one ear done and I want to go ahead and do the other ear. Now you don't want a whole bunch of um, stuffing at one time. You just want a little bit. So I'm going to see how this one, well, I probably want like half of this. And if you guys like what you see here, please feel free to do this. I would appreciate it. That just grows my page until uh, more people can see it. Um, share, Do this on Facebook or YouTube. I would appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would love for you to do so. Um, I would like to get up to 50 subscribers. I think I have like 16 or so. And... Um, that would be awesome if I could get up to 50. And my YouTube channel is Liz Yonke, and that's L-I-Z-Y-O-N-K-E-Y. Okay, so we got most of the ear done. Now I wanna put a little bit more in there. And then we're gonna stuff his face a little bit. So I'm just pushing it up in there with my finger, and then I'm taking the skewer, the, um, flat end of the skewer and poking it up in there. Okay, so we have both of his ears done and now I'm going to put a little bit of stuffing in there for his face. I don't want too much because we still have to um, glue this his body and his legs. And we can always put more stuffing up in there once we uh, get his legs and body done. So this is what we have so far. And now I just want to continue on uh, with my gluing. Gluing the two pieces of our bunny together. He's going to be so cute. Wait till you see his eyes and his nose. Okay, 
Okay, so once I get my two pieces together, I'm just pressing them together with my fingers. And you only want to go around his foot. You want to leave this bottom part open so that uh, we can finish stuffing him and put the skewer up in him. And I'm putting my glue pretty much right at the edge of the back, back piece of the bunny on the inside. Okay, and again, I just want to go around his foot until we get to the bottom part there. And then we're going to leave that part open. We need to let this dry just a tad before we start stuffing him or it'll pull apart. So isn't he looking cute so far? He's going to look even cuter. I'm going to give him some eyes and a mouth and a tail and some whiskers. He's going to be so cute. Okay, so again, I don't want to do a whole, whole lot of stuffing at one time. So I'm just getting pieces of it like this. And again, like I said, this is just from a regular bed pillow. So don't throw those pillows out. They have good stuffing in them. And if the outside part of the stuffing is all yucky or whatever, you can um, always cut that part off and use the inside of it. But there's lots of stuffing in there lots. It's probably cheaper to buy a pillow and use it than it is to buy um, the stuffing at Hobby Lobby or wherever. Okay, so we want to finish getting that up in his head. We, I did his um, feet and I want to finish putting it up in his head because we didn't finish that yet and then we'll get to stuffing his body but he's so cute I hope I have enough stuffing here if not I have more but I just have to go get it and I think actually I have just the right amount Okay, isn't he cute? Put this last bit of stuffing in there and then we'll close him up. I'll make sure I put save room for my stick, my skewer. So what I want to do is, and you want to make sure that the pointed side of your stick is down so that the blunt side is up in your little bunny there. So I'm gonna put glue around the inside edge of my jeans here. I'll try to get the stuffing up up in there out of the way. We can we can bring it back down once we get um, get him glued up and closed. And then I just want to put a little bit of glue towards the center here where my stick is going to go on the other side so that um, it'll adhere better. And then I'm just going to hold it, close it up, and hold it for a few seconds here. Okay, and this is what we have. This is our bunny. Not finished with him yet. And our egg, we're not finished with it yet either. So what I want to do is get this out of the way. And then we're going to start decorating our bunny. So I have these two buttons here. And they're just black buttons. And one of them is a little bit bigger than the other. So I thought he would be cute to have eyes that aren't exactly the same. Um, you know, not every body is totally, um, like, you know, one of my eyes is open more than the other eye. So we're not all symmetrical. So I thought he would be cute 
to have um, two different size eyes. So I'm just putting some hot glue on my bunny and then put his eyes on there. And these are just buttons. And then I have this button here, which is a star, and it's black. And I'm going to put that as his mouth. Now you can use a heart if you want. And I thought about using a heart, but I wanted to make him a little bit different. So I'm giving him a star. And then I want to give him some whiskers. Isn't he cute? So I ha just have this marker with a fine point on it, and I want to give him three whiskers. And you want to angle them in towards the center. Here we go. Isn't he cute? And now we want to give our bunny a tail. So I have this pom-pom uh, that came off those um, bunnies that we did earlier where we had a bunny banner from the Dollar Tree and I took it apart and we made stuffed bunnies out of it. So this is just one of those tails that I saved for that. And so we're going to give him a tail. So when you take things apart, save your pieces because you can always use them for something else. Okay, so uh, here's our bunny, and then we want to give him some bling around his neck. So I'm not sure exactly how I want to do that. I know I want to use this stuff here, but I think I want to make him a bow. So I have this piece here, and this is just some of that blingy stuff that you get from the Dollar Tree. And this is uh, the gold colored one. So I'm just going to wrap it around the back of his neck, and then I'm going to see if I can tie a bow with it, just like a shoelace bow. And if I can't, we'll figure out something else to do. I'm sure this is not the easiest stuff to um, make a bow with, but we're going to try it. Oh, I think I worked out pretty good. Okay, here he is with his, his blingy color collar. Isn't he cute? That's a cute bunny. Okay, so we're going to put our bunny aside and then we're going to decorate our egg. So what I want to do is I want to take this bling and I want to put it around the edges and I'm going to start at the bottom. These are just some leftover pieces that I had from projects from, uh, what was it? The, in the fall. So I'm going to start at the bottom here and I'm just going to put a strip of glue around the edge. And again, you don't want to do too much because you don't want your glue to dry before you can get your bling on. And nobody wants that. So isn't that going to be cute? So then I'm just going to continue around with my glue and my bling. Probably doing about three inches of glue at a time. Not too much, but enough. So this is just a cute little Easter project and um, we're just using pieces of 
you know, Blue Jay material. I have an old bottle that we're going to put everything in. And, um, you know, we're just using whatever we have. You don't have to use blue jean material. You could use a drop cloth. You could use canvas. You can use uh, whatever material you have. I'm just using what I have on hand that I thought would be cute and something that I hadn't used before or recently. And I like recycling items, you know, like the blue jean material and all that. Okay, so here we have our egg with our bling around the, the edge. Isn't that cute? Okay, and now we want to decorate our bottle a little bit. So I just have this blue bottle. I don't know where it came from or anything else. And I stuffed it with some of this right here. And this is just um, paper shred. I don't know where I got it, but I know you can get some at the Dollar Tree. You can get some at... Um, in the party section, probably Walmart or um, Hobby Lobby or whatever. So um, I just stuffed some in the bottle and pushed it down in there with my skewer. And then I have this, um, it's called the Robert Stanley Collection Lace. It's a pretty thick lace and I wanna decorate my bottle a little bit. So I want to take it around this part right here. So I'm just going to cut it. And then I want to do it around the, the top edge too. So again, I'm just cutting it where I think it needs to um, go around. And then what I want to do is I want to make the seam here. I want that to be the back. So I'm going to start my glue string right there. And then I'm just going to wrap my lace around it. I'm going to put another strip of glue on the bottle. And I'll put a little bit on the uh, other end of the lace there. And then I'm just going to press it down until it adheres so there we go there's the bottom part and now i want to do the same thing to the top part so i just found out where the um where the seam is on this and this is where i'm putting it i need some more glue I'm just taking it around the same way I did the bottom part. And actually, I got this down a little further than I liked. But I guess I can fix that. Or I'll cover it up with this. So again, I'm putting some uh, hot glue on the bottle itself and some on the lace. And then I'm just going to hold it down for a few seconds until it adheres. So this is what our bottle looks like. And now we can put our egg and our bunny in our bottle. Isn't that cute? Well, they want to face each other. <laughs> okay, y'all. There we go. Here we go. Here's our bunny and our egg. Isn't that cute? So I'll take a picture of this and I'll put it on Liz's craft page and I'll also put it on Liz's craft friends. And uh, if you haven't already liked and followed Liz's crafts, please do so on Facebook and make sure you turn on your notifications so you get notified when I put new videos out there. My videos go out there Monday through Friday at 1130 Central Time. And if you've missed any of them, just go to the uh, video section of the page and um, just check out all the videos. And if you do decide to purchase anything, I would appreciate it if you would use my links to purchase items as I do get a little percentage 
it doesn't cost you any extra now magnolia if you want to become a creator for magnolia you can go to my link you can order the uh, creator kit and uh, once you order the creator kit your next order will be 35 percent off the only thing is you have to pay ten dollars and ninety nine cents a month for uh, your website so uh, like I said if you want to become a creator I'll be your sponsor and I would love to have some uh, people to sponsor that would be great and you know all your orders even if you don't want to sponsor anybody or you don't want to sell to anybody you get 35 percent off of every order that you order so um, yeah isn't that a great deal and then um, for YouTube, I would appreciate it if you guys would uh, subscribe to my channel. It's Liz Yonke. And then I also have a group called Liz, Liz's Craft Friends, and that's on Facebook. Now, that is a closed group. However, if you would like to join, just search for that group in uh, Facebook. There's two questions you have to answer, and if you answer yes to those questions, I will give you membership to that group. And then you can take pictures of crafts that you have done and put them out there so that we can ooh and on ah support you and give you inspiration for crafts. And also, um, if you do any of the crafts from the videos that I put out there, I would love to see pictures of what you come up with with those crafts. So this is uh, all I have for you today. I'll be back t uh, in the next video with another craft. But until then, my crafty friends and family, keep crafting. Bye.